I can either put these file on my drawing. I have generated two files and I want to put these files in our drawing or we can also save changes to greenwood.box file and we can also do that in automatic report and save that reports in group that first of all group that reports and then make changes to these reports just click that option and uh, you will see in the bill of material move to my location desktop as i have saved my report in that uh, location actually the first file which i have saved in ascii file I, I haven't done it accurately i haven't get that file here so in this report name you can see these file output and table output if you have selected your file output or table output it will be shown like an x file if you haven't selected these options you can also modify these like let's suppose if you want to um, don't want the file output file uh, file output then you have to uncheck that box what we want to do now is uh, to save these report in grouping format so i want to save these reports what i will do now is i want to desktop and uh, save these to green wood just name it green wood and uh, save it to desktop now whenever you want to open this report then you can open that report from here like let's suppose click ok and uh, in generating the next report it will save uh, to take some time it is actually trying to uh, create another file with the same name as i have uh, give the name uh, greenwood.dwg you can see in that list it generated a report to report for project username you can see it's uh, generated a report so in this way we can generate a report to extra or to another drawing we can also do many things like uh, mm, i want to show you some more things like let's suppose i want to save an ascii file give it a name green word ascii i want to save it to text file and see its text file include all these uh, details and this file sort field uh, just leave it uh, mm, now i want to save that file which i have created now i want to give it the same name greenwood ascii file and save it to my desktop save that file and done now go to uh, here is another option i want to show you just move to my desktop click ok and there is another file ascii you can see uh, i want to add that file and either i can name the first drawing i can give a name to my first drawing or i can uh, select a different template of that drawing in the previous drawing you can see the template is not selected so i want to select a template for that file mm, i want to name it uh, green word ascii file with the name it's uh, it is saving in rgf format save that file and open report grouping green dot rgf go to my desktop open that report and click ok now in my desktop you will see there is a file with the name there is a file whenever you want you can open that file that we have saved in our report so we can open that file from our list there is actually an ascii file also So let's move forward and uh, see some more features of AutoCAD Electrical. You can see it's uh, now uh, it has selected my file and in this list you can see it's generated my file in that report. 
uh, that's what that was my report so we can also select a template as i have shown you we can set up our template file now there are some more things i want to show you just uh, go through all of these and we have uh, prepare below material similarly we can also generate the component reports from two mean the comp the wires that are coming from or going to which component so the component actually the wires and component list it will be generated component wireless there's uh, almost the same things connector plug terminal planes you can uh, generate all these uh, uh, types of reports in your drawing missing catalog data if you click on that you you will get two options like show active drawing let's move to my active drawing and show active drawing if you click on that you will find which uh, catalog data is uh, missing of uh, which component you will find the dots in the list in the diamond form list you can see the diamonds are actually denoted that uh, its catalog data are not included in the list so what we will do now we will have to uh, click on the uh, component and edit its properties and you can see in the list uh, go to details in the detail list you can see it's a catalog data is not included so we have to include the catalog lookup table go to lookup table and select any of the option and give item number and click ok now i have inserted the catalog data go to uh, again go to missing report then you can see it's uh, not in uh, that terminal is now uh, all right so that's the way we can check or we can even check the reports generate these reports in our drawing ol1 is still missing uh, its catalog data is still missing so this is the way we can check the missing catalog data so another important thing which i want to show you is uh, there are three types of uh, reports uh, electrical audit it's very important if you go to electrical audit and you will see the if there are any problems in the uh, connections in your drawing then all these problems or issues will be found here you can see in my project there are 52 issues but in my active drawing there are 14 issues if you want to see all the details about the issues go to uh, details and check what are the problems in our list so there will be multiple options like terminal duplication if you have uh, duplicate the terminal pins or pin exception contacts wire no connection if wires are not connected from both sides then it will show it is it as an error wire exception cable exception component not can no connection if components are not connected on both sides uh, component no catalog data if it hasn't any catalog data then it will be shown in that way so just move to the first option and uh, which is no catalog data Cap component no catalog data that's actually that is overload which has no catalog data so if you want to check where it this material is in my drawing you just go to you will find that component so it will be highlighted in that way component no connection you can see like a wire exception wire number missing wire number just go through that and you will see actually that wire is not connected here so that's why it's created problem its wire number is same but it's showing it as another it is it is taking it as another wire it hasn't inserted any wire number to this portion component no catalog data and uh, wire no connection you can see these are the wires that have no connection mean we have leave these wires in that fashion so that's why it's creating problem so in your drawing you must be familiar about these uh, problems that if your wires are not connected mean i haven't connected any source or destination arrows and uh, uh, i haven't created or connecting any voltage sources to these uh, wires that's why these will be creating problems in your drawing so you must be familiar with these uh, problems so in electrical drawing you can see in my project list if you want to see all the project list you will find many connection points connection wires problem and components that have no connection you will find all these uh, errors in your report it's uh, very important in electrical uh, drawings so next thing is drawing audit there are wires and components and the wires whether our wires are accurately connected or not 
So this will show us some more features in our drawing like uh, go to the project, go to active drawing and click OK. There are multiple options like wire gap pointers if there are wire gaps, uh, zero length wires, wire number floaters, show wires in ma mark in red. If there are wires in your drawing, then all the wires will be shown in red color. Let's see what are the problems in our drawing audit. It will take some time and 43 line entities. There are total 43 lines in our list and uh, you can see all the lines are in normal layer that are shown in red color. So actually there is no problem in our drawing report. So you can see it's uh, all right. It's uh, fine because all the components or all the wires are accurately connected and uh, the wires are the wires are accurately connected to both the terminals, both the sides of the components. So it's uh, not showing any problem or uh, either the, the wires are not broken anywhere. So it's uh, it's all right. So next thing is signal error or list. You can see they, there are two types of components. Uh, there are two types of options in our list. Wire signal or source destination. If uh, you have a signal uh, source and destination in your list, then it, they, they will be shown or the either standalone reference reports. So these are two types of reports. Just click the first one and see the source and destination. You can see this is the report of source and destination signals. You can see the signals sheet number. It's, uh, sheet number is three, five, uh, drawing name. Drawing name is wire number. So all these are actually showing in our list. So it is actually showing the list of uh, third drawing and fifth drawing as we have connection in between four and five the, the fan in source and fan out destination so it's actually showing that options so these are all the detail about uh, formatting the reports uh, make changes in the reports and uh, audit the electrical drawings so these are very important things that uh, must be properly learned in detail you you have to work in detail on these uh, reports because uh, in every project whenever you are working on any of the project or with any of the with any client you have to generate the report also in your drawings